All right, y'all. This is the bolt out of my 1022, one of them. And um, I'm fixing to change the ejector. Uh, I keep calling it an ejector, an extractor. That's this right here. Okay, it grabs a hold of the rim, loads the uh, round, also yanks it out of there. Okay, and this gun here actually has never been fired. Why am I doing it? I'm doing it because I want to learn how. I've got these kid parts here. Can you see that? They're very small parts, but the, it's made out of a harder material than the one that comes with the gun. I don't want this to be a long video, but if you're having problems, there's, there's grease and grime and all kind of stuff can get underneath and cause that thing not to grab hold the way it should so if you're having problems this is really the first place you want to look if you're having problems with uh, the ejection of the 22 the spent cartridge there is a plunger right here it has that spring behind it it actually slides up on that plunger it pushes on the back of the ejector extractor and in order to uh, remove it you want to come in here with some type of sharp instrument something like this this little pick here come between the extractor and the plunger you could also use something like you know a small screwdriver whatever you can handle comfortably and you want to pull that back far as you can get it and you don't want to launch it across the room then you want to pick up I could probably dump this out you want to pick up on that extractor there yeah. I pushed down on the front it popped right up don't launch this thing across the room then you let it up give it a little push the plunger and the spring we're going to use the plunger again I'm looking to see if this thing's got a big end and a little end it looks like this end is smaller okay Place it in that channel. Ideal opportunity to clean all that crap out of there. Okay. Put it back in there. All right. Now, see that's a little teeny piece. That plunger actually rides. I believe it rides up here on the top. We're going to reach up here, grab the top of it. You got to, ouch, pull it all the way back. I said, ouch, it didn't hurt. I just said it. Then we're going to put this in here. It's going to drop down in there. Alright, let's have another go at it. Yeah. That's it.
done okay I didn't really have to replace this one like I say the gun's never been fired but I, I wanted to learn how to do it and it's a fairly simple procedure you can see how it's pushing on the top part of that so if you're having problems with the man I get those two words mixed up extractor not pulling the shell out that's the first place you want to look and it's a fairly simple procedure and it's a fairly simple part I don't know what I forget what I paid for that I don't know go to kids site check it out they got all kind of good stuff and uh, if you're having problems put your new one in there this one is 59 to 60 on a Rockwell hardness scale these right here will sometimes get rolled on the end because it's a softer metal and they just don't do the job that they should but this one being brand new I'll keep it but uh, now you know how to put one of those little jobs in there I appreciate you watching catch you later bye